earthquake in New Zealand. A powerful tremor struck one of the country's largest cities this morning, leaving it laying in ruins. So far, the death toll stands at 75. Tonight, we're speaking with a woman who once called Providence home, who survived the whole thing. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau continues our in-depth coverage tonight. We hear firsthand tonight via Skype what it felt like and what's left. Tonight, Christ Church continues to shake while the crumbled city searches for survivors under the rubble. About a mile from the epicenter, Foxborough native and two-year Providence resident Laura Castrenos was relaxing in her condo. And just the entire home just shook at its core. It was a very violent shaking, and I couldn't even take any steps. The floor was shaking, and I just looked all around me, and I saw cabinet drawers opening up here in the kitchen, um, DVDs, CDs, books flying off shelves. It lasted about 30 seconds, and over the next 20 hours, she watched along with the residents of her adopted city as a dozen or so aftershocks continued to knock down history Can you call out and to potentially us, bury residents. The Army stopped her from getting even this close to the destruction. Others searching for loved ones were frantic. We could hear people like screaming and there were young kids crying and just we could hear people like reuniting with their families as they came home in our neighborhood. She tells us her fiance's family is okay and so far the couple's been able to get in touch with their closest friends. But she and many survivors fear that as the rubble is turned over and removed, the casualties could mount. I'm sure we'll hear as the days go on that some of our acquaintances are, are more distant friends, you know. Um, we're so lucky. She and her fiancé have no plans to leave Christchurch, but she does tell us many residents remain anxious and troubled by the latest in a series of quakes that started last September. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.